<laughs> this version of the atonement, it's the doctrine is called the atonement. I try not to use lingo like that very much in the book. Um, but this version of Jesus' death is in technical terms called the penal substitutionary atonement theory. And I've renamed all these historical theories in, in, the, in the book and given them other names. So I call this one the payment theory. This is the payment version of the atonement. Like you've done terrible things. You owe God something. Somebody has to pay that price. You can't pay it. You don't have enough money in your bank account. Only Jesus does. So Jesus has to cash in everything in his bank account on the cross. And then you get to go like to heaven basically on an IOU to Jesus kind of thing. Um, there are other versions. There is a version called the ma that I call the magnet theory, which is uh, from the Middle Ages, which was uh, worked on particularly by a guy named Peter Abelard. And it says basically that God, when Jesus is dying on the cross, it is such an incredible act of sacrificial love by God that it's like the world's biggest electromagnet. It draws everybody toward God's love, this beautiful sacrificial act. And you know, if you think in your experience, like maybe you've been, I write in the book about being um, in Taizé, which is a, a monastic community in the Burgundy region of France, and seeing like on Friday night, they have a thing called the Adoration of the Cross, and all these teenagers from around Europe are like on their hands and knees crying as this cross is laid out in the middle of the sanctuary every Friday night for this thing. And you think, well, what is it? Like, what draws people to the cross? Well, then you read Abelard's Magnet Theory, and you're like, oh, yeah, okay, that's another beautiful version and beautiful way to understand the cross. Um, there's the victory theory, which um, is very, a very early church theory that says that basically there's some kind of other warfare thing going on, spiritual warfare, and that the, what the crucifixion did, the most potent thing the crucifixion did was destroy Satan and rescue us from our captivity to Satan. Um, so, and then I'll just mention one other that's like very recent um, called, that I call the mirror theory which is developed by this guy named Rene Girard, who's an anthropologist. And he's basically saying that when, what Jesus' crucifixion does is it mirrors back to us the end of our violence. It basically says, this is what your violence does. When you look at Jesus on the cross, if you feel convicted that even, even the most innocent victim is killed in a violent manner, that this violence doesn't solve problems. That's the point. It mirrors back to us our own violence and sin, and sin, our own tendencies. So these are some of the other versions, and then there's many others that I, you know, briefly kind of lay out. And then at the end, you're gonna have to buy the book. At the end, I have my own theory, of course. Okay, yes, you have to, you're gonna have to, page 230, don't skip ahead.